South Korea's Hanwha Defense will start development of an indigenous 110 kN engine that will power a revamped version of the KF-21 fighter jet. The total volume of weapons purchases by Armenia from India has reached $600 million by the start of current financial year. Balasor District Administration has temporarily shifted over 10,000 people from 10 villages to another place, ahead of a scheduled missile test today. Tartu Advanced Systems will showcase its ALS-50 advanced loitering munition at the Farnborough International Air Show in UK. Airbus and Tartu Advanced Systems have signed a contract to establish H-125 final assembly line in India. Bharat Electronics has signed MOU with Russia's Rosbaron Export and MSK Business Solutions, for the licensed production of indigenous 30mm and 40mm ammunition, and 30mm grenade ammunition. The inquiry into the accident related to INS Brahmaputra has been handed over to a Rear Admiral Rank Officer, who will come out with a detailed report on the exact cause, and also point out personnel accountable for the mishap. Goa Shipyard Limited has launched the first of the two follow-on Talwo-class frigate for Indian Navy, that is being built under technology transfer from Russia. Hyderabad-based Apollo Microsystems has secured a prestigious contract from the Indian Army for the supply of vehicle-mounted counter-swarm drone system. Apart from the integration of various indigenous systems on Su-30 aircraft under Super Shukhoi upgrade, a particularly exciting development is the planned integration of manned-unmanned teaming capabilities into the first 84 Su-30 aircraft, that will allow the fighter jets to operate in tandem with advanced autonomous drones, loyal wingmen and unmanned aerial combat vehicles, that will significantly expand its operational effectiveness. The DRDO has started assembling a lighter and more portable variant of the very short-range air defense system known as Manned Portable Defensive Missile System, that will utilize a shorter infrared homing surface-to-air missile. The entire system will weigh less than 20 kilograms, and measure only 1.4 meters long, which is a significant reduction in weight and size, and its development trials are expected to take place later this year. As part of a larger 114 Dano Shodder, 32 units have already been delivered to the Indian Army, and Advanced Weapon Equipment India Limited has announced that it is set to significantly ramp up production, and aims to deliver an additional 48 Dano Shodders to the Indian Army by the end of March 2025. The Indian Army is procuring 50-man portable and compact lightweight passive detection and countermeasure system, to enhance its capabilities in detecting classifying and countering various UAV threats. The Army will integrate the 50 systems with its existing 30 tactical control radars and low-level lightweight radars, to boost their operational capability and survivability. The Ministry of Defense has been allocated $75 billion, out of which 27.66% has been planned for capital acquisitions, which is for adding new weapons systems and equipment, 22.70% for defense pensions, 14.82% has been planned for revenue expenditure, that includes spares sustenance and operational preparedness. 30.66% on pay unallowances, and 4.17% for civil organizations under the Ministry of Defense. Today's Top 3 Comments